Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here's Abdul and today we have a special uh, watch review of my first watch that I bought for 2023. So if you missed out on watching the unboxing from this watch, I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, so as you can see, the brand name is Boney. Um, I was corrected in the comment section in the unboxing. Thank you so much for uh, the person who did this. Because I didn't know the correct pronunciation for uh, the watch brand. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, written as Bloney, uh, but it's uh, pronounced bon Boney, uh, according to him. So, going to the history of uh, this watch company, um, it was uh, created in 1953 in the city Boney in Poland. And uh, the decision to create uh, wristwatches was in 1956. And the first first uh, uh, batch of watches was produced in 1959. And in 1961, uh, all the watches were done in uh, Poland with all the uh, case, movement, dial, everything. And in 1962, due to, um, I think, shortages in some kind of material, there were also a USSR, USSR parts used, and um, in 1967 was the completion of production of the uh, Zodiac watches. And um, in 23, in, in 2003, uh, they announced bankruptcy of the company. And in 2014, and uh, sorry if I butchered your name, Mikkel Duan uh, bought. Uh, the watch to revive it so the brand was updated in 2014 and the first models that they created were 2015 so this is just a small let's say recap on uh, the history of Boney the history of Zodiac watch uh, from Boney going to this watch and uh, let's start first with what you get you get the watch you get a wooden box which is quite nice of course the bony material which I'll put to the side and you get a traveling leather pouch which is really nice I have to say really really nice for that price and as you can see I already have some straps in it and a strap uh, tune uh, the watch came with a a uh, calf leather uh, strap stamped with a uh, crocodile pattern, but you know me, I don't like stamped uh, straps, so I left it as is. I even left the buckle. Um, as you can see, it has a bony uh, uh, sign inside. But I will show you uh, the straps on the watch afterwards, after we discuss a little bit the specifications, what I liked, what I disliked, and everything else. So the specifications of the watch, uh, let's start with the movement. Um, the movement is a Celita SW210 running on 28800 vibrations per hour with a 42, mil 42 uh, uh, hours of power reserve. So it's running on 4 hertz. And um, it's calculated around 23 uh, uh, to 27 winds to fully wound uh, the power reserve. Um, the range that Boney specified was uh, plus minus 12 seconds per day, but it could go to a maximum of plus 30 per day. And uh, they said also that the amplitude should be around minimum of 200, and I should uh, test the watch with a tilt angle or lift angle of 50 degrees. Coming to the main attraction, maybe I'll, I'll give you first the... Um, dimensions of the watch let's start this is this correct zero yeah so the dial the case diameter is 40 millimeter lug to lug is very compact as well 44.75 and thickness around 10 millimeters with strap width of 20 millimeters so this is just the basic dimensions like i said i bought this watch First, of course, I was very interested in, um, as I said before, I'm trying to move away from 
uh, traditional brands and go to independent and concentrate uh, for the next collecting phase on independent watchmaking. And that's what brought me to uh, this bony Zodiac. But I bought this one because of the enamel dial. Um, the price is 600 euros on their website with around 35 euros uh, shipping to Germany. So for around 600 something, 635, I was able to get an enamel dial watch, which is incredibly good value for money. Just to compare, I ordered an N Ordain uh, base model, model one in medium, and I had to pay around 2000 euros for the watch. And I'm I'm waiting until now and, and didn't came. I've been waiting maybe for six, six, seven months ordered it and then paid for it and now I'm waiting for my order to be completed. This took me maybe three days, four days until it came. So really fast and uh, customer service for Boney was awesome. I talked to them, really awesome people. I leave also link the description. This is an unaffiliated link, so I'm not getting anything in return for the link. I'm just leaving it because I really find uh, a lot of value in this watch. This is the Zodiac. Michanisi, and please, uh, I'm sorry for uh, butchering uh, the pronunciation. It's, uh, I think it's mechanical in Polish. So this is number three. They have three colors. They have the off-white, uh, or let's say a little bit uh, egg-white. They have the black, and they have this burgundy. I chose the burgundy because I, know I don't have any burgundy dialed watches in my collection, and I thought this would be a perfect uh, fit in my collection. Uh, it has a double convex mineral glass so you have this really nice vintage look you have a, a quarter numeral so 12369 and what i think here is a really really uh, differentiator from other watches is the loom if you open your uv list light sorry i'm just pronounced light in german and you look at the watch you would see that you have loom at the 12, 3, 6, and 9. Of course, it, the loom is not too strong that it will stay overnight, but it's adequate if it's charged up during the day that at night you'd be able to see. I tested this out. I wore it straight for two weeks, the watch, and I really, really enjoyed wearing it every day. Really uh, one of my favorite watches in my collection at the moment. And I even combined it with a blue strap because my work color is blue, so I wore this uh, to meetings. Um, I think it's just really nice and beautiful. Um, let's say inspirational vintage inspired watch, really, because uh, when you see independent watchmaking in this, uh, let's say, price segment with this quality, and uh, just to compare, like I said, the N Ordain has also the Celita SW210. Uh, it has also an enamel dial. Maybe the case would be the only thing that they have a little bit different uh, uh, manufactured. Uh, but for for 600 euros, this is a steal. This is a watch that I really recommend people to get if you like dress watches. Um, by the way, I'm wearing another watch that I will be testing in the next couple of days. And just put the watch on my wrist for you to get an idea of how it looks like. And then I will do a small, uh, let's say, fashion show. Put it on different straps. And please tell me in the comment section which, which strap you like the most. And then I will put it on the time grapher to see if the specifications are correct to what they are saying so this is on the blue strap like i said i have a 17.1 centimeter wrist so around 6.7 inches so just for you to uh, uh to understand the size um i got a lot of comments in the comment section and the unboxing about the size about the 40 millimeters that they wished it was a little bit smaller uh, i have to say um i agree and disagree i have a lot of smaller watches i enjoy and i like even smaller watches more but because of this enamel dial uh, it's just more real estate for your money. You're getting more for less money. You're getting 40 millimeters dial of enamel dial. Um, they could have made it in 38 uh, or even 36 to be more uh, a vintage, uh, let's say, correct. But I think this is the modern interpretation of a dress watch that you would wear every day. This is 
uh, would be uh, my go-to office watch, let's say. Uh, if I had the black or the off-white, I would have, uh, and I go to the office every day, I would wear them every day to the office because they're really simple, really classic, not pretentious, and really nice as well. So, as I said, if you have any comments or questions about the watch, leave them in the comment section. I will start now by putting some straps on and then testing the watch out and then giving my last verdict on the watch. Next strap option is the rubber, black rubber strap. I really like this one the most. I think this one is perfect for, uh, let's say, summer days because you have the cooling effect through the, the holes and the black and burgundy just works quite well. That's why I think they also offered this in, in black because this is the best color to go with. And I think this would re really look really nice on the watch as well. But like I said, I'm not a big fan of uh, alligator strap uh, that are not alligator leather. But of course, you cannot expect this uh, for this price. You can get a strap like this 100 euros, 140 euros in crocodile, uh, which will definitely raise the price up for the watch. So, like I said, this is on the rubber. On sail cloth black strap, as you can see on my wrist. It looks also quite nice with this sail cloth. And this would be the option that if I want to dress up the watch for going out, to put it on a real crocodile strap, there are a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, offers online for crocodile straps. So be sure to look out for deals on eBay, maybe. And as you can see, it looks really nice on the gray. Last but not least, on a lizard green strap. And this is for me a little bit, uh, let's say, too colorful, but still looks quite nice with the green. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the fashion show. <laughs> and we'll switch now to the time grapher and then I'll give you uh, my final verdict on the watch as well. So as you can see, the watch is running on 15 seconds uh, plus uh, amplitude 294, which is quite high and beat error of 0, 0.0. I made the mistake of uh, setting the lift angle at 52. So I think the plus 12, plus minus 12 seconds is really a, a correct, let's say, uh, uh, average uh, for uh, the rate of delay on the watch or the rate of, let's say, accuracy of the timekeeping. So let's take the watch off and go back to, let's say, So what I liked about the watch, like I said, the price is awesome. The case is really cool. The crown is really nice. Uh, you can see the logo here. Uh, case back is awesome because you get to see the movement. 50 meters of water resistance. I would love to have this in 100 meters, uh, but I, I totally understand it's only 50. Case shape is really nice because it's really uh, vintage inspired. It's really light, has this brushed. Uh, a finish to it which is quite nice i would have liked to have more let's say finish on the case but with this price i can't argue and uh, these lines on the dial um they're done because of the uh let's say vintage look from the older watch that was produced to be honest i would have liked it without the lines but still with the lines it's okay but like i said there are just small stuff that uh, might have made this watch perfect for me but it's still really really good watch and i really enjoyed wearing it so like i said if this is an invitation to press the subscribe button right here and if you'd like to see this video or that video and hopefully see you in the next one bye bye everyone